know how to get there. I think there's one over here. Let's head over here. Oh, it feels so good to be playing this game again. Yeah, hey, here we are. Oh, gosh, motion controls. Oh, I forgot motion controls were in this game. All right, quick, everyone. Name your favorite Zelda game and the reason why it's your favorite Zelda game. I'll, I'll go first. Um, Breath of the Wild is my favorite, not just because it's, like, one of the few games I've played, but just because, like, it really transformed the series for me and turned it into something that I never would have imagined I'd play 130 hours of. Um, and while Twilight Princess is, like, my true, I would say, favorite story-driven Zelda, this is, like, just my favorite general Zelda game. Also, I forgot about this dude. So, like, <laughs> hold on. I'm going to save, and I'm going to see if I can reflect this. I've never actually reflected a one of these. Let's see. How do I do it? Is it... Hold on. I really do not remember how to do this. Hello? No. Put that. Give me that. Ah, whatever. I'm not going to worry about trying to reflect it. Because I, I frankly just do not remember how you're supposed to. Yeah, wait. And then boom? No. That. Nope. That. 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 Okay, wow. I'm just dumb and I don't know how to do this. That's okay. Oops, hello. So, we found the first one. I'll have to look up how to reflect those attacks, because I don't know how to reflect any kind of... Um... I'm just going to skip this, by the way. I've already done this. I'll have to figure out how to reflect those waves, or not waves, the, the lasers from the Guardians, because I don't remember how to parry. Maybe the game will tell me how to do that. Wind Waker is your favorite? That's one I've never played. I've been told Wind Waker is an extremely good game to play, though. So, like, I definitely like to. I actually have it. I have it on my Wii U, so, like, maybe I'll consider streaming that game in the future. I would have to knock the dust off it, though. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Jabij. Alright, Jabij. Give me the goods. It's actually kind of surreal playing this game again. Like, it's almost nostalgic. Like, a lot of the music is actually really nostalgic for me, but, like, this game came out when I was a freshman in college. It came out during my second semester, and I remember I actually got the last Nintendo Switch on release night from the GameStop in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Because for those of you who don't know, I went to Oklahoma State University for college. And, um... It was, uh, it was really interesting because I didn't pre-order the Switch, so I just had to go and, like, wait at a GameStop for, like, I think I waited out there for, like, eight or nine hours. So, not a particularly great experience, but there were people out there who were waiting, like, even longer than me. Like, there were people who stayed out there, I think, for, like like 12 or 13 hours like there were people who got there at like 10 a.m the day before it released which is just madness to me but i got there at about three o'clock in the afternoon and then the, it came out at midnight that night so um i want to say yeah i i ooh, hello i want to say that i waited yeah like nine hours or so and i got the last one they had five extras and i was the fifth in line and the guy who was like, the sixth one in line was, like, very, very close to just, like, paying me. He, like, very desperately wanted that Switch, and he was going to pay me to get that Switch. And I was like, uh -uh. no, I, I think I'm going to want that Switch. Thank you, sir. Hello. <laughs> um, And so I got the Switch, and I'm actually still playing on that Switch.
which is really cool. Although my Joy-Cons have been replaced since then, but like... It's still a super cool thing that I'm playing on the same launch switch that I've had. So, the battery sucks in it. Like, it's, it's the Ooh, hello. It's degraded, like, a fair bit. But, eh, you know. Hey, that worked. Give me that. Hey, Amber. Nice. So, but I got new Joy-Con controllers for it, so it works. But, yeah, this was the first game I played on it. Um, and I think that... <laughs> I remember this. So, I was living with a roommate at the time. And, um... He, uh... He had told me at, like, 11 o'clock, Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed, dude. Uh, try not to wake me up. And <laughs> I didn't get back to my dorm until, like, way, way later. Like, I think I got back... Oh, man, I think I got back somewhere, like, between 12.30 and 1.30 that night. I figured that wasn't going to work. <laughs> like, between 12.30 and 1.30 that night, which is really not that late, necessarily. Um, but it was, like, a Thursday night, and we did have an 8.30 a.m. class. And so he he was pretty annoyed when I came into our dorm room and I turned the light on, and I was like, hey, I got my Switch. He, like, got up and he looked real, really, really grumpy. Like, maybe the grumpiest I had ever seen this dude. Um, aha. And, uh, so I felt bad. I knew that was going to happen. We're going to replace this. In case you're wondering, I died, like, a grand total of probably, like, over a hundred times in The Last of Us Part Two. So that's fun. So, F, I wonder if I'm going to have to redo this whole thing now. Anyway, though, um, <laughs> so I was up until, like, 2 a.m. Um, just in my room. I, I I eventually... Oh, I have to get the thing again? Shit. Um, oh, wait, no. Do I already have it? Oh, no, I'm good then. So, um, anyway, I got my copy of the game. And uh, also, we're just going to preemptively do this. There we go. So anyway, I got my copy of Breath of the Wild. Oh. Okay, that doesn't go here. Claymore, though, that's actually a pretty good weapon. Shit. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Why do I have so many branches? I guess I picked up way more than I thought. Um, here, we're going to drop all these branches, then. I can actually do something here. Um, but anyway, I had to wait until, like, 8 a.m. when I woke up the next morning to actually play my copy of Breath of the Wild. Um, and it felt so good, because I had been watching all of these trailers, I got myself super hyped up for the game. And it was everything I ever wanted it to be, and more in many ways. So I'm I'm super happy to be playing this game again, just because, like... It's a kick-ass game. At least I didn't die again. Um... <laughs> Chat, I didn't say I was good at games. You know that conversation we had in the Discord about me being not a gamer god? <laughs> I think there's some evidence to it. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. What? There we go. Um, so anyway, I... I played this game, and it's it's even funnier because it came out, like, the, the weekend before spring break. So I spent, like, almost my entire spring break locked up in the spare bedroom at my parents' house playing this game. And I didn't feel guilty about it in any way. I, I really... Hello? Didn't give a damn about hanging out with my family or, or my then girlfriend. I just wanted to play this game. Although I didn't I did end up playing uh, playing this game a little bit with my girlfriend at the time. And she thought it was pretty cool. She was more excited about just like new Nintendo console. Just because new Nintendo console. To which I don't blame her. Uh do I want to go get that? It was just an amber. Oh and I I already picked it up. That's right. So like Okay, I don't know if any of you guys remember this shrine at all, but is there actually a purpose to that orange ball over there? Because I don't know what that's used for, and I can't immediately find another 
brick wall to break? So maybe I'll come back in here if I have nothing better to do, but I'm just going to go ahead and collect this and get on out of here. Also, when applicable, I'm going to go ahead and skip cutscenes. Just because I feel like everybody's seen them all by now. Unless they're like, I guess, like the super major story cutscenes, but like these little cutscenes, we don't need to worry about them. Nice. So that's one step towards our first stamina upgrade. And a full HP upgrade. <laughs> or a uh, heal. That I'm not excited about uh, Robot Humpy Campbell. That one is my least favorite of the Divine Beasts, even with a lot of HP. Ugh, just because the lightning attacks are so difficult. But I need to fight it because I don't want to fight it right before trying to fight Ganon. Like, that would be awful. Okay. Whoa! Seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Give me the paraglider, dude. We all know the paraglider is what I'm really here for. Um, paraglider, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Ancient technology, blah, blah, blah. All right, let me just get cozy here. Lower this down just a little bit. And let's do it. So now I need more? Whatever. Wait, I have to go back to the top of the tower? Okay. See the map. Blue icons, you should recognize the cave from where you awoke the shrine you came from in the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Oh, that's right. I forgot that there was actually kind of a fast travel system. So, let's uh, go ahead and do that. If I'm not mistaken, I should be able to kind of get a good gauge on where I need to be going. Because I can use the Shake a Slate to mark things. I may or may not go turn motion controls off, because I remember that motion controls always seem to screw up my ability to do the bow and arrow shots. Which character do I use the most in Gungeon? I think her name is the Mercenary. She has a dog with her. Oh, this was the wrong one. Hold on. There we go. But to be fair, like, I've only played, like, maybe five hours of Gungeon. Like, it's just one of those games that's hard. And with the exception of The Binding of Isaac, I never got into games that are just brutally difficult. Like, that's part of the reason... Oh, that's the hunter. Oh, um, that's part of the reason why I didn't ever beat Sekiro, because I got to the final boss fight and like that boss was just so incredibly difficult that I just didn't have any fun with it. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. How did you <laughs> leave an old man to his secrets, huh? Hmm. All right. Dude, heck yeah, brother. How do you know? Instinct? God, I forgot how good, like, even the dialogue in this game is. Okay, so let's see. That looks like a shrine up there. So we need to go ahead and open up um, this? Nope, this. Yeah, there we go. So place a pin there. Um... I know there's one way at the top of this mountain somewhere, but there's also another one somewhere over here, I thought. No. Ah! Uh, edit pins. <laughs> I just placed all of the same pins. Uh, okay. Delete pin. Gosh dang it. Yeah, I know. GameCubes are really, really expensive now. Um, okay. So we can at least start here. So let's make our way over there and we'll figure out where the other one is. I know there's one more somewhere. We just did that one. 
There's, I think there's one over there in that forest, if I'm not mistaken. Could be over there. I kind of want to go check that out. Okay. So, let's, uh, I guess, carefully climb down this. Cannot wait till we get the paraglider. The paraglider is what makes this game amazing. What color uh, GameCube do you have? Is it the classic purple? Because I know the orange GameCubes are, like, wildly expensive. Like, it's kind of absurd how expensive the orange GameCubes are. And I think the original orange GameCube controllers are also, like, just as expensive. Which is insane. What do we have here? Ah, some free arrows. Thank you. Should we go fight these Bacoblins? I think we should. We might gather some good supplies out of this. Oh, wait. Thank you. Nice. Give me that Boko Club. Give me that meat. Dude, nice. We just have a Wii for it now. Gotcha. that. Man, I'm so unused to the controls for this game. Everything just feels so strange. Nice. Alright, hold on. Oh my god. Why are we fighting a blue one? Oh, crap. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nice. Ow. Okay. Nope, we gotta heal. This is already gonna be terrible. <laughs> Everything about this is gonna suck so much. Gotcha. Dude, let's go. Um, let's actually equip a weapon that's, like, not slow, though. The hunter is super beginner-friendly. Oh my god, we already died. <laughs> I hope we don't have to go that far back. Oh no, this is gonna suck. Oh god. Three hearts, man. Mipha's grace can't come any quicker. Hello? Go. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> so, actually, I think the right way to do it would be... Let's crouch. Let's see if we can shoot him in the head and just kill him. Nice. So, I think really the right approach to this... ...is to throw a bomb in there. So, I definitely just did this completely wrong. Nice. Did that kill everyone? It sure did. Oh man, we even got a good weapon out of that. Maybe you can give me tips, tips and tricks whenever I stream that game, because I'd like to stream that game at some point, just because it looks good. Looks like it would be a fun game to watch, too. Especially since I suck at it. Okay, what do we have in here? Nice. Fire arrows are definitely going to be useful. Um, let's move on, I guess. We can probably make it up there pretty quickly. The one that I'm more concerned about is actually the, the one that's at the top of Mount Hylia. Because I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get some sort of a winter garb. Or make a potion. And I... I can't actually remember how I did I think I actually made a torch, and I just carried a torch all the way up there. Which also seems like a perfectly appropriate way of doing it. I think. And it's nighttime, so now we gotta fight these dudes. I think that was an arm. <laughs> I didn't feel like grabbing that as a weapon. Um, in terms of the order of the 
Divine Beasts. I think I'm probably going to go for Revali first because um, Revali's Gale is overpowered 